This could be a game-changing video for your hyperpigmentation. Also, this video is more like a podcast because the aim of this video is to educate you so you can remember and apply these rules for the rest of your life and not just few tips and tricks. If you could not cure your hyperpigmentation and still struggling with it even after few years of trying skincare, this video is life-changing, I promise you. So let's clear some basics and also know that everything that I say in this video is my personal experience and I am not a professional in any field yet but I love digging deeper on the topics that I love. We all love skincare here on this channel. So before talking about anything else, you should know that brown skin is special and it reacts differently to the sun and you can't really use products that are made for white skin. And I will never suggest you to use any potent exfoliator like those white people use from ordinary. Your brown skin needs special care. What if I told you every skincare in your house that you bought online from one of these cosmetic brands is waste and you will never achieve results that you have been trying to get since last few years buying and trying products from these cosmetic brands that is the truth and this is the secret these skincare cosmetic brands don't want you to know cosmetic brands are easier to make and does not require going through a lot of paperwork and testing because it is just cosmetic for garment so they don't put a lot of restrictions and requirements for these cosmetic brands before they sell in the market. These brands fool you into thinking that this will transform your skin, your skin. But there is no proof that it will. And even if it could, they don't make it on higher concentration. Because they can't afford to lose customers by doing so. Also, many ingredients aren't allowed in higher percentages to be sold as cosmetic or over-the-counter. And that is the reason why you never achieve your desired result. Because you are just paying for fancy bottles, avoiding a dermatologist's appointment. You don't need a dermatologist's appointment to buy skin medicine from medical store for your basic skin problems. I am just gonna give you an example. You must have tried azelic acid serum. This time, why don't you buy a tube from a medical store? 10 to 20% azelaic acid is available over the counter depending on which country you live. You can pair it with niacinamide which is also available on a medical store, at least in my country. And I also pair azelaic acid with my tretinoin with the lowest percentage available. And remember why I'm saying this. The one you buy from medical store is always gonna be more effective. Why? Because I already explained. It will go through a lot of testing in order to be sold on a medical store. And they also provide a proof that their product actually works on the problems that it is intended for. So you don't have to worry about effectiveness. I know many people can't tolerate those products when it is strong and potent. But you have to slowly introduce the ingredient to your skin. Use it with a moisturizer or use it for only 10 minutes or just use it once in a week. You really have to find how it works for you because it is your skin and only you can handle it the best and use your ability to understand how you're gonna handle it. Talking about skin tolerance, the biggest thing for skin of color to remember is irritation means hyperpigmentation. That is why you always hear me using words like brown skin, dark skin because I want to warn you before you get your skin irritated because brown or darker skin tone humans have high amounts of melanin in their skin. So when you irritate your skin using a skincare or under the sun, your skin is gonna produce more melanin to protect your skin. So ultimately, your skin looks even darker and then you call it hyperpigmentation or melasma. And that can also happen because of hormonal changes or imbalance in your body. And in India, I think it's much cheaper to see a gynecologist or a dermatologist. 
and I'm just telling you so you remember these things in case in future you run into a scenario like that. The moment you get your skin irritation or it peels because you used something on your skin, first thing you need to do is use a very gentle cleanser and then apply a niacinamide if you have any and on top of that use a barrier cream. You don't need niacinamide if your barrier cream already includes this ingredient. Chances are your barrier cream has niacinamide. I'm saying this for niacinamide because everyone has niacinamide and that ingredient works really good on skin barrier. It will also help in this bad skin situation. If you could actually cut down on your 10 step skincare and invest in a great skin barrier cream, it will be something amazing for your skin. I like Physiogel and CeraVe and it works fine. So always keep a skin barrier cream from the medical store, the best, or from the company that you actually trust. I don't think I was going to achieve this result if I kept using those shiny expensive bottles for my skin. Things to keep in mind. You have to train your skin to get used to these medical products. You do not need higher percentages. If you cannot get tretinoin in your country, you can pair azelaic acid with adapalene. In the beginning, don't pair anything together so you know which one is reacting badly on your skin. You have to be gentle with your skin. Whenever you feel your skin is irritated, even just a little bit, stop everything and use a soothing cream and skip any active ingredient from your routine. Also, niacinamide is not an active ingredient, just so you know. I think it is a really serious topic about what to use and what not to use and how to use. So please use your common sense and try to avoid irritation as much as you can. Don't expect yourself to handle all the ingredients at the same time because no one can. And the last thing, Doing all these things does not mean that you will never get any breakout again. You will never get any acne on your face or on your body again. But you will know how to treat it faster. A perfect skin does not exist. I hope we all know by now. And it doesn't mean that you won't get any single acne ever again. And if someone is telling you online, promoting something that they never get any breakout, acne or anything, they're lying because it is gonna happen. You do everything for your skin, it is still possible that you can get acne here and there. So don't be hard on yourself and really try to rethink about your skincare routine. Make it simple, cheaper. I also don't mean to say that expensive skincare is always bad and I will prove that in my next video when you will see me comparing two niacinamide serums one costs 4000 and the other one costs just 600 so I hope you are subscribed and just by liking this video or just commenting a word will let me know that you are watching this video so I hope you do that and I'll see you in my next video.